Hello everybody, this is Stonewall, and today we're taking a look at another legendary weapon in Borderlands 3. I got in probably four to five hours of gameplay yesterday, and I got a couple more legendaries. Now some of these are from uh, the extra packs you get with whichever version of the game you uh, uh, buy, so that's where some of these come from. But anyways, today we're looking at the Tsunami, and I got the apt prefix here. Uh, let's... I actually haven't messed with the weapon inspection much. Um, but here it is. It's kind of funny. You can about not tell the difference between the front and the rear. But I guess that's the stock. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see the trigger right there. So this gun is really crazy. Um, let's see. Damage 16. Accuracy 86%. Handling 58%. Reload time 3 seconds. Fire rate is 10.07 per second. Magazine size of 44. This is all at level 17. This is when I got this weapon. Uh, plus 15% fire rate, plus 35% weapon charge speed. 2.2x uh, weapon zoom. And the red text says you can't explain that. So if I remember correctly, there are... Um, this was a legendary or something like that, maybe in Borderlands 1. The Tsunami... Um, I didn't really play Borderlands 1 that much, so just one of those things. Okay, and you can look at weapon parts. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. So this increases projectile speed, decreases accuracy. This one increases elemental damage, which is perfect. Even though this doesn't show an element, I'll show you why in just a second. Charge duration minus 20%. I like that as well. That means you get to firing faster because Malawan guns have a little bit of a charge up time. Okay. Uh, plus elemental damage minus weapon sway plus elemental chance minus accuracy bloom minus weapon sway. That's weird. Weapon sway is on there twice. One screen and once red. Again, this is the first time I've actually looked at the weapon inspection thing. Uh, accuracy bloom minus 25%. So, accuracy bloom on this particular gun is really good. Okay, then fire rate, splash damage radius, uh, minus 10% damage, and accurate or charge duration minus 10% and minus 10% accuracy. Charge duration. Okay, so I know we've done a lot of looking, but let's take this in against some enemies so what this thing does as far as I can tell let's get somebody to hold still for us is it does and I'm not saying on target at all it does normal shock and corrosive damage and absolutely melts people by the way there's a quick tip for the riot troopers shoot them in the feet they fall on their face um, oh, here we go. This will be fun. Oh. oh, good grief. I should have planned better. I need some ammo. <laughs> Let me go around and see if I can find some ammo. Yeah, that was not very well planned. we got a mag. Let's see what we can do. So this thing is really good at stripping shields <laughs> and then getting that corrosive damage over time as well. So sometimes you'll have multiple damage over time effects going at the same time. And one thing I'll say is this seems to fit really well with Amara. Uh, looking at some of the skill trees and stuff, Amara seems to be the... Uh, elemental uh, character. So, how do you get this? Well, I actually have not farmed any bosses. Uh, this one I got from Katagawa Ball on the first run. So if you hadn't got that far into the uh, campaign that is in Skywell 27, the asteroid, um, kind of the final boss for that area. So, 
that is where I got this gun. And again, running around getting ammo. There we go. Now I do have another uh, do have another legendary to show off, and I may actually do a video on it today. So that would actually be not too common for me, but two short videos, pretty easy to do. Um, but I'm not quite on level for it yet. And that is the Impaler Shield. It's back from Borderlands 2. Sounds like it has a similar description. But uh, that's the Tsunami right there. And I'll, let's come down here to the Impaler. Um, and just for reference, this one I actually got from uh, Katagawa Jr. Uh, a little bit further in the campaign. So two main bosses in a row. I got their uh, legendary drops. So, anyways, whenever I level up, I'll probably make a video on this Impaler, uh, just to see how good it is. Um, it's got corrosive resistance, and anyways, we'll we'll take another look at that. So, hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully, uh, well, from what I can see so far, number one thing, it goes through a lot of ammo. Um, but it also does a ton of damage because of the uh, dual element. Uh, I almost said dual elemental. It is dual elemental, but anyways. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm definitely having a lot of fun with this game. Um, every now and then I find myself a little under leveled, and so I'll go do some more side quests and that sort of stuff. So I feel like leveling is kind of at a decent pace. Um, so, anyways, hopefully you enjoyed that, and I may make another video today. But, uh, anyways, I guess I'll see you in another video.